Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel and your weekly love zodiac reading. This reading is for July 19th to the 25th. It is a general reading, so please only take what messages resonate with you. If this reading does resonate with you and you want to see more and you want to dive in a bit deeper, there is an extended reading linked in the description. Um, there's also information for personal readings as well down there and links to my other social media platforms so feel free to check those out if that interests you. I'm going to begin your reading with a card from Wisdom of the Oracle um, and see what message the universe wants to give you and then we're going to get straight into your tarot. So Virgo, July 19th to the 25th, what is going on with your romantic love life? What does the universe want you to know about your romantic love life. What does the universe want you to know? Okay, so we have here community. Um, there could be uh, some focus for you regarding children as well. Um, if there is this kind of focus upon children in your life, um, I feel like, yeah, it's going to be like an external thing, but it's also going to be something that helps you with your inner child. It could also be somebody, like an older person, connecting with you and nurturing you and caring for you. And again, I'm getting kind of inner child healing here as well. There's going to be some type of change as well that comes up for you guys in regards to how you connect with others. Sorry, I'm holding that right up. There's, there's going to be like a shift. You're going to find more support and compassion with other people, potentially your family members, or they could just be some older people um, like in your life. But likewise, I feel like you're going to do this uh, with other people it could be it could literally be regarding physical children in your world or it could be you doing this with people and connecting to their inner child and and helping them to connect and feel their inner child and bringing more joy and like a sense of stability and security as well for people and likewise, you will be having this as well. People will be doing this for you. This is kind of what I'm getting here. And like some of the other signs, it's like a foundation. It's what it's like a foundation building thing that I'm getting uh, that's going on here. It's laying this kind of security, this stability, this love for one another as well. Um, partnerships. And I feel like this is in more so in preparation for a romantic relationship that you have. So there's like good foundations um, in place to then be able to so you know so you're solid and this is like a collective effort with people around you and you're helping them to be solid and then it's gonna it's gonna kind of filter into more kind of intimate personal um, romantic relationships as well here this is kind of what I'm getting so let's get into your tarot now messages we have for you for July July 19th to the 25th for Virgo one last shuffle okay Virgo recent past energy surrounding your romantic love life present energy surrounding your romantic love life, near future energy surrounding your romantic love life, the energy that is guiding you right now, something that you need to know, your energy and your person's energy. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Pentacles. I definitely feel like this resonates, to be honest. This King of Pentacles resonates so much because I do feel like this is going to be kind of talking about, it fits in with that community and it is going to be talking about what you give, the valuable things you give, the valuable energy you give, the valuable support you give in the physical, in your physical world. And this is going to be growing abundance as well. Um, not just for you, but for others. It's, it, 
I feel like it's just going to be creating more abundance in your life and in other people's lives. You're really going to be kind of conducting yourself in an amazing way with, with others. And you're going to be learning and like creating this foundation. But likewise, you're going to have this done to you. Recent past, we've got the lovers here. So there has been a connection that you have experienced in the recent past. This could have been yesterday, <laughs> this could have been last week, this could have been last month, this could have been last year, this could have been, you know, take it how it resonates, but you connected here with someone. You connected with somebody and you were supposed to connect with them and they've really kind of raised your vibration here. They've connected you to happiness within you and within them you've kind of come together even if this what didn't turn into like a romantic relationship even if this was like momentarily um this connection that you felt has been some you were supposed to connect with this person this is this is kind of like there has been like an activation here but also it has ignited something in you and it's this warmth and this emotion and this hopefulness this brightness that this is a very special connection here very very special connection and important for you and for the person involved present energy we've got the three of pentacles so you are kind of this card is so like predominant this week you're kind of doing what you want to do enjoying yourself you're literally doing things that make you feel good. There is this big theme about the inner child, bringing that inner child into the outer world, bringing that inner child into life, be becoming like literally your external self, becoming your inner child. So you're working on and you're building things that make you happy, that, that bring you joy, that help you feel relaxed and, and have like this, this enjoyment in your life at the moment. You're connecting with people um, that that bring this to your life or help you to explore this energy within you a lot more um, you could also be doing these things like whether it's hobbies or you know you're starting a new job or something or you're just doing things that you know you, you're being creative you're creating a new world for yourself but here this is a lot of self-love here although I feel like there are people that support you and resonate with you and you're of like minds and you can you can you're working on building um more of what you love together but i'm getting here as well like independently so you might be connecting with people that may have different interests to you but overall you've got this same kind of goal of creating a life for yourselves that brings you joy and happiness and fulfillment and having connections in your life that you know you can really connect with people on 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 a great level and you resonate with each other and you have an understanding even if it is regarding different specific things overall the understanding is the same the aim of the game is the same so this is a real beautiful time here it's a beautiful time for building um connections building friendships building partnerships, building a new life for yourself, building um, a new career, building whatever it is that you want. You're, you're really kind of applying, you're applying what makes you happy internally to your external world right now. So you're really kind of practicing self-love at the moment. Near future energy, we've got the two of swords, so there's going to be something confusing for you or you're not going to know where to go next um either with a connection with your love life with a person or maybe even with yourself but this is interesting because it kind of makes me think of your like it's a little bit like at being a crossroad at a crossroads but you'll be reaching that next level following this you will be reaching like a next level um a decision would need will probably need be needed to be made, but you will get. I feel like you will get information that you need, um, but you're going to have a little bit of time. I feel of uncertainty or of not not being clear, not understanding something, or not understanding where this is going, where you're going, what's going on. 
but that I feel like this is very interesting. I'm feeling really interesting and this is very important and there's something really interesting going on behind the scenes here, which I'm going to delve more into in the extended. I want to see what's going to be going on behind the scenes. The energy that is guiding you is the five of wands. So there could be some different kind of factors, different things that need attention or um, there could be some conflicting ideas energies people there could be some people that are kind of coming into the mix certain things that might need attention and need to get sorted out or you know um acknowledged identified um there could also be yeah i'm getting there could be something that might need attention so something that you are building you're in the classroom at the moment of building and creating your dream world okay your dream life self-love and growing and making these connections and working with people that that have got the same mindset as you the same missions and goals in life like overall goals um but here it looks like you're going to be entering a new classroom here for the next class and it's something to do with something that needs addressing And you can't move forwards onto your next level of love, of joy, of happiness, of connection with others, connection with love and developing more love for yourself until something gets addressed. Something you need to know. We've got the page of wands. Okay, so yeah, somebody is going to be coming in that, and there's something that needs to get sorted out with this person. Uh, it could be a fire sign, but this person... I feel um, either you could be feeling very passionate about them or they could have felt passionate about you. But there's somebody here, there's somebody that is wanting to come in or there's an energy that wants to come in and get you started on something. Get you started on something. Initiating you for something. It's I don't feel so much it's to do with what you've been working on. It's something else. It could be something that you already know of or someone you already know of. Or it could be something new or someone new. Okay, so it could be somebody that you already know that needs to kind of come in to... To initiate you in creating something either with them or something for yourself okay that needs that and and this is what is needing you you to be focused upon um or it could be somebody brand new that is coming in and that there, there's going to be like this initiation i'm getting here a new activation it's a new classroom what you've been working on or what you've been who you've been connecting with who you've been working with um, what you've been doing for yourself in regards to self-love is wonderful and it's it's really kind of flourishing but it's it's all good at the moment it's like this is at the point where it needs to be then there's some something or somebody new that is going to be you know needing you your attention or needing your needing you to join them with something else here um, this could be very passionate as well. There could, there's a lot of passion that is coming up at the moment, a lot of sexual energy. I don't know if you guys are feeling this, but there is a lot, there's a lot, this rising of sexual energy. And I'm feeling again with this person, there's, there's, um, this person is very passionate. There may be, if this is something you know, that there could be some kind of conflict with them, but that might need to get sorted out. Um... Your energy is the Ace of Cups. Yeah, self-love all the way. You're feeling good. Everything is all good. Um, literally, you are amazing this, this week. You're amazing. You're in really good energy. The fact that you're in such good energy might be enabling this person to come in because you could be in the, the, the type of energy that is needed to be connecting with this person and working with this person or it might be a good time for them to come in because you're feeling all good and if there is conflict with this person then you're in a good energy where they might feel safe and attracted to you and they feel safe to enter in but I do feel like there could have been some type of hostility or situations 
if this is somebody that you know. If this is not someone that you know, if this is someone new, this is going to be somebody that has got the hots for you big time. They're very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. But you might be interested in somebody else and there could be some type of conflict and unsurety here regarding this. Your person's energy, we have the Ten of Wands. This person is letting go of some burdens right now. Or they're carrying some burdens. Definitely this is applying this is applying here to somebody that you have known or have met before, I feel. Um, they want to sort something out with you. If this is somebody new, I feel like they're needing your help. It's interesting. And, you know, I'm not really getting energy vampire vibes here. But because you're in such amazing energy, it's like them connecting with you can help them. Again, going back to this kind of community card, it's like you can help them to release certain burdens and connect in with their inner child. This is a very important um, experience and, and connection or meeting or kind of like uh, working together with somebody. It's very important, it's very important to them. You could also be getting some good karma as well. But here, I feel like you're in this point where you can really kind of conduct yourself well. I feel this person needs some help and you're going to help them. I'm going to see how where this is going to go and what's going to come of this in regards to you, for you, for your, for your knowing, for your benefit here and what's going to occur with this person as well. Um, so feel free to join me in the extended. It is linked in the description. If we're parting ways here, thank you so much for watching. Any likes, comments, subscribes are so appreciated, guys. I'm really loving your comments. Um, they're just so nice. It's just so nice to do these videos and actually feel like, you know, people are getting something from them. So thank you for your comments and have a wonderful week. Take care.